all right all right ladies and gentlemen citizens of the empire we're back let's uh finally upgrade ourselves a little bit and see what the hell is up so next one is 31 wait oh we've spent 31 points 28 29 well we're 25 right Does this get us two-handed heavy weapons? This applies poisons. And that takes two points. Throws a bomb. Okay, we'll, we'll save some points. All right, so what do we want to do here? Accuracy is what we want. Yep, there we go. Wanna work on using some better uh, pistols and convincing more people of things. And now all we gotta do is head to the village indicated by Petrus. Actually, let me do this first. Hold on. And... Petrus? Oh, no, you're not all maxed out either. What, what am I miss? Oh, pure iron, shit. Oh, that's not even what I wanted. Still missing the pure iron. We'll see, uh, let's actually buy a bunch of pure iron. If we can. Come closer. You, sir. Don't hesitate. No, ingredients. Goodbye. That works. May the enlightened always keep you. At level three, no, what does this do for him? Gives him vigor. Right, we're good, time to go. All right, so where are we heading? Down here. Where is this village? Gotta travel north and follow the path. Oh! go 
Quick and easy as always. fought but wait what's wrong with my gloves oh it fixes it I've never noticed that before Camp up here? No. That's an ability shard. Or ability point. See if we can grab this. This path? A sister? From the continent, are you not? Yes. You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. 
Father Petrus. Is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation? A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? Uh, yeah. What about the investigation? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Ah, uh, no. That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Let's see what we can get into. This is camp. Oh my god, stop being stuck on random shit. Donate God. Hello. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt Tir Dumad Renaikse. Oi and the Donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. This but is true. It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with the bounty. Okay, well that was not productive at all. <laughs> all right, let's talk to the chieftain then. Tirtumad, an old Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Oh, uh, just some information. Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, all that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your clan? My people are proud, full of courage and tough. That which destroys others makes us stronger. Many of them fear us, even amongst the other clans, because the fury of the storm warriors is a story often told. But when we are not fighting, we are peaceful people, and we are happy guarding over our sacred woods. Anything more? Uh, yeah, let's talk about a couple more things. Concerning this story about a sect, Enough, enough questions. I have nothing more to say. Okay, never mind. But it seems like you have something to ask. 
What do you seek? Concerning this story about a sect. Enough. Okay, Enough. never mind. Never mind. Let's see what else we can find out. Search the area, question the village inhabitants. So we're just gonna talk to people. Can't you leave us alone? Monisanai! Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my face! What about you? Can you help us? Beer to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Yeah. Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. So it's one question. It is the only way to get answers. Then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene. A grand city on the continent of Gacane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. Your village seems different from the others. Why is that? Each village is different than the others. It is the reflection of those who live in it and of all that surrounds it. Vedluk is the village of the lightning struck wood in your language. Why do you call it that? It is said that there was once a great fire that burned all the surrounding woods caused by a storm. But one tree that burns nourishes a new tree. Greener and stronger than before, the forest returns. We are like her. Even wounded we rise again, stronger than we were before. Our warriors are known for this by all clans. They fear us. Let's try something else. Okay. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm assuming from our parents. Right? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegat. Your turn. Her beliefs, the rituals, about demons. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? What a strange question. I don't believe. I know. Nature is alive. A forest is like a village. Every river, every rock, every beast, the land itself, all live, all speak to us. In exchange for these gifts, we honor her, give her our dead. This is the way of things. We do everything in our power to protect her. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light, she did not want to play. Um, okay. Maybe I should ask somebody else? You! Birtir Tumad, Anal Manawi. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Can I ask you some questions? You're different from the others. What is your role in this village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. Okay. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. What about the missionaries? Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. <laughs> they told Shiny us God. we were wrong, said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. Well, I was I'm... told 
that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. Well, I promise I'm not trying to convert you. This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. And the beliefs? What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead. In the rain that quenches us and drowns us. In the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. I must right. leave now. Thank you for your help. Whoa, 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 what? Elemental magic, ooh. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can get, or what we can deliver. If it's any good. Sister? Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Well, I already I did. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but they don't seem all that keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know a little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet there is something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots. That would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. Well, I, I did pretend to be clumsy. But we'll have to be fast. And it will only work once. Do you want something? Yeah, can you help me for a second? Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? More questions? You really like this game. You really do. If we could avoid... Very well. But be brief then, because it is not good fun. What can you tell me about that man down there? I spoke to him and he seemed... nervous. Don't hold it against him. The people of the Light have already questioned us. That makes him distrustful. He is a man of few words, but he is devoted to the village and listens to the Danae God with great attention. He is a gatherer, but everyone knows he wants to become the next Voglendijk, the next servant of Donegad. I see. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. I really need to go inside. I must verify something. If you can help us... This request is strange. I know it is for you as well. But we must prove that the suspicions cast upon our village are not true. These people of Teleme will not give up their search without this. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him. But be discreet and very quick. Okay. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. Okay. That worked out, thanks to Siora mostly. Oi! Do 
Oi, guys. Ready, I'm ready, squad. Right, let's sneak in and see what we can find. He's kind of got a nice and secluded little house, too. What a horrible mask. How can someone wear such a thing unless they're worshipping some dark creature? This is just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies. Nothing more. This altar is incredibly morbid. Is that a human? Oh my god. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult. Far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The Whoa. man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. <laughs> oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that... Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you wanted to say. Eesh, that's some tension you can cut with a knife. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia. Yeah, we'll see what uh, what that means. Because they don't even know what a demon is. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully, he will not lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. All right. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Trail in somebody else too, huh? Let's just go take a long nap then. Oh, shit, I needed to hide, okay. Over there. Perhaps we could hide and wait here. Then we will be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here. I don't know why that was incredibly creepy, but Petrus, please never do that again. We don't want to, oof, don't want to lose him. Don't want to get caught either. No, 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 no. You don't see me. Time to waste, so we're just gonna 
Hop up and follow him directly. There he is. Where could our man have gone? He must have gone through this door made out of roots. Okay. I don't even where is this the door? No. What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning struck tree speak to you? In a way. I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree. And my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel. And the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. Okay, shit. Well, let's see what these standing stones can give us. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. All right. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Here, this looks ice. like a snowflake. Snow, or maybe ice. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. Okay. This stone has an image of the moon. On this stone, the sun is visible. The sun, what is this? What does this represent? This life? looks like an infant. Could it represent life? Was this fire next? Or the drawing maybe? on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the earth. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Okay, and so from fire, the fire killed the tree, right? So here's death. The rain started to pour down. Which one is this again? This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. And then it brought the tree back to life. You did it right. By awakening these stones in the right order, the door opened. Okay. Let's take a look. Try to be as discreet as possible. Duis, atuta yam canaded ole, tadulan vrandi, alaun eles again ole vei. Closi garamam e telami ol flinau ich egrem. 
Glossy Gedem Dientis Ola Robini A Ol Slai Vanqua Sakengedem Fradem Adigalem Linquid Winterbus O Galamsani Tugombenis Gremos Nigawi Renkasie Krimadrem De Negao Edent Los Duis A Ruyekt Nes Diri Lois de Graman a Deis Gideon, a Renta. Es war nur Fradi, da magen gedan, ja diga la dandien. Es war nur Fradi, da we gaishidon. Ag es war nur Fradi, da we gremo senabui. What a strange Holy ritual. shit! I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Donegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Dedra. I mean, wow. Okay. <laughs> that was intense. Matt, can I get through here? Yes. I'm stuck on the corpse. All right, let's go talk to Daedra, or Daedra, or however you say it. a little bit like right here or up the hill <coughs> what do you seek we found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about what is clear is these priests know nothing, and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. I hoped you'd be able to explain what they were trying to achieve. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigze like the others. She bears our likeness. Please share your knowledge with us. Grant us the chance to understand. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking. Okay. What do you seek? Can I, uh... Speaking of it, is that all you have to say? I already told you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anything That's what more? I thought. I need to be going. Well, I will am sick. I mean, the exclamation point just usually means you have a side quest for me, but I guess we can do that later. Actually, let's fast travel from here. Oh my god. Wow, okay. There we go.
where are we headed? <coughs> Let's take a nap. Oh, down here. A strange party we have here. Who are you to come and disrupt our solitude? Good day. We. You. You are on Olmenawi and at the same time, Renaixi. So it is possible to bond yourself on your faraway island. <laughs> we are here because Teleme has asked us to carry out an investigation. They think that certain clans venerate a demon. An evil creature. We carried out our investigation of Vedlog on Chief Deirdre in an attempt to discover the truth. And the clues have led us to find our answers in this sanctuary. Deirdre sends you to seek out a... demon? Curious. A man from your island came already a long time ago. Full of questions he was as well. He had a small party of warriors with smoking tubes, and on their chests, a golden lion. A lion? The coat of arms of the Bridge Alliance, in our territory. Such boldness. They set up a camp near here, and then they disappeared, all of a sudden. Do you know where, precisely? It was a long time ago. I don't remember all that well. My memory has been leaving me of late. But it wasn't far from here. You will find it, I am certain. Ah! You are bringing back the memories. They were asking nearly the same questions you ask. Okay. Well, let's hop down and see if we can do what they could not. Drums. Search for leads in the swamp. Gotta get, actually get around do there. Oh, no. The path we took once before, a little bit back. It represents a beast of the marshes, a red serpent. See or anything? No. The iron? Yes. The image is fading. I can't see much of anything. Hmm. Okay. Got one up here. Seems like, wait. Yeah, nothing so far. The swamp consumed these bodies almost entirely. These must be the Renaigze they Hermit told us about. Probably. Probably. You can still discern the crest of the Alliance on this doublet. Let's search the area. There might still be something interesting. Okay, can't get into that. And I don't think there's anything in there that, you know, is mission useful. Uh, the last or one of the last murals oh no a body uh, 
That was a key. Let's go back around, see if this key opens that chest. So we got a potion, probably for whatever the ritual that, that involves the drums is. And the last mural. A fresco in various yellow hues. It represents a sort of insect. All right, let's question the hermit. First, we gotta get down from here. Figure out where down is. Oh, this led us right around. Good, 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 good. What do you want, strange stranger? I found this note. It speaks of a ritual, but it is incomplete. Do you know anything else about it? A ritual? Yes, there is a ritual for the impatient. For me, it serves no purpose. I am here. I wait. But for me, it would be useful. Can you help me? <laughs> Deirdre must have her reasons. The folly of youth. Do you see those drums over there? They awaken the earth. As long as you play them correctly, Awaken the Earth. Oh, and that's not all. Once the Earth is awakened, the stone will appear. That must be quenched. Quench a stone? But you're still here. What do you want again? Okay. How do you play the drums? Oh, that's easy. The music is the first language of Tiafradi. It resonates with the earth. You need only respect the natural order for the earth to hear you. A predator, a prey, the cycle. That's not really all that clear. Come now, come now. You must first make the snake rattle, unless it is first to be the insect. Time devours all memories. I do remember one thing, though. I'm listening. Each drum must only be played one time. And only once. But you're still here. <coughs> what do you want again? Okay, so it sounds like the animal cycle. Nothing. I shall leave you alone. And then we'll probably quench the stone with the potion we just picked up. Oh wait, I still need to ask him questions? What do you want, strange stranger? Quench a stone? What does that mean? Water trickles on the stone and returns to us, empowered by its force. But sometimes... Water is not enough. This note I found <coughs> explains a recipe. A potion thought to contain the essence of this place. Is that what must be poured over the stone? Oh, yes. No doubt. No doubt. But you're still here. What do you want again? All right. I'm going to go beat Nothing. the drums. I shall leave you alone. Sit tight, old dude. Something. 
something's appeared over there. It seems as if it's some type of altar. It looks like an altar. The stones. What is this? Time to, time to get rid of this thing. Man, before she became a Nadaig. May the earth swallow you whole. You and those from their dark oil. They must all be destroyed. But in all Milfrekti men will stop them. He will chase you all away. Murderous! His hunt has begun! Calm down. We didn't have a choice. We were only defending ourselves. Siora, what is he talking about? Why is he so furious, and who is Enon Milfrictiman? I believe he is furious because he knew the Nadaig before she bonded. He mourns her in this way. It was a Donegad who received very much power, and who traded herself completely. Are you saying that that creature was once a woman? Yes, like you and me. Anyone who draws upon the power of the Earth becomes one of their faces in exchange. As for your other question... And on Mir Frichtemann means one of a thousand faces. This name rings a bell. I've heard it before. It is surely the name of the demon we seek to expose. And on Mir Frichtemann. <laughs> I doubt that you can understand. Enough to think that this being wants to harm us. Perhaps it is the source of the Malachor. And why is that? Why would the source of your sickness come from here? I don't know, Siora. But didn't this man just say that this being would hunt us down? We need to learn more. Okay. Ah, uh, discover the creature's secret. Well, I think we'll do that when we return, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. So, thanks so much for joining me. If you like what you saw and you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.